Can we talk, Natalie, a little bit about um, the anticipation of the Bitcoin or um, the, the crypto and Bitcoin ETF that's coming into play? Folks are, are looking at the ETF as an opportunity to be able to play the space without having direct exposure per se. Um, we, what do you tell people who ask you about this and how they should be thinking about it? It's obviously going to be new on the scene and there seems to be um, anticipated demand for it. Yeah, I think we should get ready for a big marketing campaign and a lot of clever ads competing for eyeballs and portfolios. And, you know, the regulators and the issuers are really focused on getting these Bitcoin products out there. They have been for several months going back and forth over every detail. And I think what that tells us is that there is consensus now all the way up to the top of government that Bitcoin is a legitimate asset. It's going to be delivered to the public in this new investment vehicle. And billions of dollars are going to flow into a technology network that has an absolutely scarce unit of account. So I expect it to outperform even this year when we're up more than 150 percent. So Natalie, in the background of all of this is the SEC's war on crypto. They have a lot of cases out there in terms of enforcement and what they can and can't manage. Meanwhile, on the international stage, like in the UK, they've seemed to really create a pathway. Is the U.S. going to be able to keep up? I mean, we can there's so much going on in the SEC. But what I really want to know is how are we dealing with this compared to the rest of the world? And are we at risk of falling behind when it comes to this future of cryptocurrency? Well, we're not falling behind when it comes to Bitcoin. I think that overall the crypto battles will remain ongoing. The SEC says that these thousands of tokens need to come into compliance with existing securities laws. And the technologists that are behind the tokens are basically saying, well, we shouldn't have to. We need new rules of the road. The only thing clear in that battle is that Bitcoin is different. Bitcoin is not a security. And Bitcoin really isn't in that fight because it's fighting a bigger front, which is against inflation, against the paper money that politicians can print. And as in Inflation keeps eating away at everyone's savings and irresponsible fiscal policies keep us drowning in debt. Bitcoin, again, is that life raft and a way that we can build wealth in a form of money that can never be controlled or debased. Bullish on Bitcoin. All right, Natalie, thank you very much for joining us.